I'm Angela Hockman, your host of In the Kitchen on STL TV. Now today, I have a very special guest. I have got Jeff Fitter. He is not only the owner of Super Smokers Barbecue, but he is the head pit master. Jeff, what the heck is a head pit master? Well, it's the guy that's, <laughs> it's a very important position in a barbecue really? restaurant. It is the guy who takes all the blame for all the room food. <laughs> So my job as the head pit master is to make sure I ruin as much food as possible so I can teach everybody what not to do. It's a lesson learned, you know, that, lesson that is learned. life. That, that is, is exactly so right. <laughs> funny. So what are we cooking today? There's a lot going on here. We've got a lot. So uh, we, uh, we own a, a barbecue and Cajun restaurant, so I bought both. Two locations, Two correct? locations, one in Eureka, Missouri, one in Afton, Missouri. Okay. Uh, so I brought a brisket to go through today and uh, I brought some jambalaya. So we're gonna start with the brisket. Let's talk brisket, uh, tell me I everything. I brought a whole packer. We cook whole packers at the restaurant. Uh, a whole packer is basically this beautiful, gorgeous brisket right here. And it is the entire brisket. So brisket is made up basically of uh, two parts. You've got the flat and then you've got the rest. And the rest is, is, is a fattier portion of the, of the brisket, much more flavorful, um, much more flavorful. <laughs> uh, in most restaurants, the flat is used to serve your sandwiches, your chopped uh, beef, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then the, the end is used for burnt ends. Oh, I love burnt ends. And you have Kevin's burnt ends on your menu, so, is and, that right? And, and yes, and actually Kevin is a, is a friend. He's got a podcast and he wow. actually uh, is a teacher uh, down in Eureka for the Rockwood School District. Wow. Comes to the Eureka and he lives in Afton. So he's like in heaven right now. Uh, his friends make fun of him, but he's in heaven right now. Oh, he's got um, a menu item named after he him. He does. Kind of a big so, deal. Because he, he loves the mac and cheese and he loves the burnt ends. He's like, oh. man, we should put these together. And I'm like, no, oh, that's done. I know a guy. They are the peanut butter and chocolate of barbecue. They are, exactly. So, <laughs> so okay. I, I thought that we, we would run through kind of, of, of what, it, what it looks like to, uh, to, to break down the brisket. Um, so the brisket itself, um, I'm going to do the cutting because you told me off camera that, that you need adult supervision and I'm not an adult. So I'm gonna take <laughs> care of the, the cutting. You're filling in for the adult and then, Yes, and then, and then we'll, we'll have you rub it. So uh, I brought a couple different knives. This is the knife we use at the restaurant. So when I break down a, um, a brisket, I like to make it is basically the same size all the way across. So then it cooks more consistent. Okay. Now, there's different theories on what to do. There are some restaurants and, and, and pit masters that'll just throw this on just like it is because it's just a ton of flavor inside Oh, there. yeah, right. So when I cut this down, I actually will trim it down so that it is as close to the same size all the way across as I can get it. Ooh, be careful. Yeah, yeah. don't worry, I'm a trained professional. Oh my goodness, I don't really know what clearly. That means. No, you are, you are and a the, world champion <laughs> and you have world champion are. barbecue staff. At I the do. stores. Tell me about that. I How do. do you get that title? So, um, Super Smokers Barbecue has been around in St. Louis for almost 26 years. And in that 26 years, I'm going to come towards you a little bit here. I don't want to get you with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> um, in that 26 years, uh, we have competed in Memphis and May. Um, Oh, numerous times, uh, and we've actually uh, uh, won with uh, with the hog and with uh, ribs uh, in Memphis and May. When and when you when you win, uh, thank you. It, it was uh, you know I I bought into a legacy. Terry Black started this legacy uh, mm -hmm. with Ron Skinner, and um, they did an absolutely amazing job putting the restaurant together uh, and the menu and everything else that goes along with it. Uh, and um, uh, I was lucky to be a part of the team to walk on stage in Memphis several times, wow. uh, which is been fantastic it has and I, I've met some, <laughs> some incredible people and made some incredible friends over mm -hmm. the years so it's uh, uh, it's been wonderful so you and the staff have these incredible credentials that we, we qualify do. you to serve this top-notch barbecue we, we do so Jeff tell me this there are a lot of different barbecue choices for people in st. Louis why should someone try super smokers you know um, a couple of reasons so the first is uh, I relate barbecue in St. Louis to Italian in St. Louis. Yeah, we're um, talking. Yeah, I mean, there's there nobody goes to the same place for lasagna and toasted raviolis and and, and, and chicken alfredo, right? Well, the same thing happens in barbecue. There are some amazing, amazing pitmasters in St. Louis. Oh sure. Uh, so uh, they might go to uh, us for brisket and another one for pork and mm. and, and beastcraft for ribs and and all these different places. So yeah. um, uh, we are well known for our ribs. Uh, and our brisket is actually our top seller on our menu. 
Uh, so I'm um, excited to get down to business. I would say that's one. the reasons why you'd want to go and do that. So awesome. the briskets, once I have it trimmed up, I like to leave fat on it. This is flavor. Yeah. This is. fat is what will 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 render and and add flavor into the uh, the brisket as it cooks. Um, so I, in the recipe, uh, I like to use just uh, uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. Okay. Um, in the restaurant, we use uh, uh, something a little bit more. Uh, obviously, I couldn't share that recipe. Come on, but well, friends, you could tell me your restaurant it secrets. It will be available for sale very soon. Oh, in stores. okay. So um, and briskets, I like to just liberally. Oh. And if you want to rub you. that in, this is how just you like rub. Little TLC, just like a little yeah, massage. Little of the massage. Brisket. You're gonna make it all really nice and good. <laughs> oh make my sure gosh, you, I've never done this before. Make sure you get it before. over the edge so you get the corners. You just get want on the, Okay, we're gonna coat it all. You want to coat it all? Make it oh, uh, is, rub it all the way it through. Smells so good. I wish people could smell what is yeah. right in front of me. And you, you typically wow. want to do this uh, anywhere from three hours to 24 hours it's before relaxing. you're gonna use it. It is. <laughs> you know, in, in the restaurant. Um, you know, the fun thing is I get to put my headphones in and oh. I get to trim meat. Zone and out. I get, right, I'm in the cooler. Nobody's bothering me. It's pretty fantastic. Yes. Now, I know that you really love doing that, so I'm going to let you do it a second time okay. on the other side. This is... I feel like a very tiny person here because this is a very large brisket. It, it is. It is the size of most uh, most nine year olds' torsos. Seriously. That is, that is a good point. Yes. That is a very good point. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to get this nice and coated, evenly seasoned because when we come back, we are going to finish this up and we are going to get going with some jambalaya. You bet. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay, so I'm going to keep seasoning. We will see you right after this break. Listen, you're my friend. I noticed you haven't really been yourself recently. Yeah, I feel like something's up. How are you? Are you okay? Is there anything you want to talk about? I just want to know how you're feeling. And listen, even if you don't know what to say, I'm here to talk. No matter what you're going through, I just want you to know I'm here. I've got your back. When you want to talk, I'm here. I'm Angela Hockman alongside Jeff Fitter, the head pit master of Super Smokers Barbecue. So, Jeff, when we left off, we were dealing with some brisket. We were. You got some jambalaya cooking, but walk me through the next steps to create this delightful cuisine. So when I started cooking with Super Smokers back in 2001, mm -hmm. there was a gentleman there named Curtis Louvier. He ran the commissary for all the catering in okay. Super Smokers. Uh, catering, find us at supersmokers.com. Um, <laughs> Available uh, for all parties uh, and anniversaries. All days. Um, and Curtis and I became just great friends. Mm -hmm. uh, he is from uh, New Iberia, Louisiana. He is the winningest gumbo cook-off champion in the World Gumbo Cook-Off Championship. We don't mess around here. Andrew. Clearly. We don't mess around. Um, <laughs> and I, for many years, never ate any other Cajun food but Kernis's. I see why. Um, and I fell in love with it. Um, Kernis cooks not only great food, my mouth's watering, um, not only great food, but he cooks the comfort food. He cooks the food that uh, the people in Louisiana 
uh, the Cajun food. There's a difference between Cajun and Creole. Cajun mm. is, is more flavorful, not as spicy, where Creole is a bit more spicy. Interesting. Um, still very that. flavorful, still very good, sure. but it's uh, uh, like it, it's kind of like the difference between Memphis style barbecue and Kansas City style barbecue, right? I mean, okay. it's just it's, it's all barbecue. It's just a little bit different. Yeah, everyone's got their own um, flair. Okay. So um, Kernis inspired me to uh, start cooking Cajun, and in our second restaurant in Afton, uh, we have a full Cajun menu as well as the barbecue menu. So is that the main difference between the two that locations? That is the biggest difference, yes. Got well, it. we also have a full bar and it's full service. But oh, yes, so as far as the menu goes, cool. uh, yes, that's the difference. That's so great. I brought today for you um, our house-made jambalaya. Oh um, and it is a huge recipe. Um, we almost ran out of counter space. There are so <laughs> many ingredients. Uh, but it's, it's super simple. Uh, and the recipe that I've shared uh, uses minute rice so it, it you can actually pre-cook the rice and then make the the marinade the wet side sure. of the jambalaya and then marry the rice together which is basically what I've done for you today and we have tossed all of the ingredients up on the screen if people yes. are feeling so ambitious they want to attempt this at home so if not just go to super Smokers. super simple you put your butter in the pan okay um, you're going to want to let that break down and then you're gonna saute your vegetables now, one of the things that I've done a little bit different than most of the uh, uh, normal uh, jambalaya recipes is I'm actually using poblano instead of green pepper. Um, it is just very flavorful. It doesn't add, really add any heat. It's a little bit hot, but it doesn't really add any heat, I'll but it, it adds flavor. Okay. And that's what is that's what's that's what's so much fun about it. And then you add different peppers in it, and then we some do. So it's it's butter. just sweet pepper. So I'm using sweet peppers, um, uh, yellow and red, uh, sometimes orange. Try to make it look pretty. Like uh, jalapeno. You got to have jalapeno. Oh, this is not for the faint of heart. It's sir, not. Giant it's not. Of water. You're exactly right. <laughs> uh, and then we'll What's add next? garlic, Ooh, minced yeah. garlic. Everybody has to eat. Garlic Everybody at the has table. to have the garlic. That's right. And then we have garlic powder. Are a lot Salt. of ingredients We're to go into this. Can we get some water, my God. <laughs> um, chili powder, um, cayenne, paprika, oregano. Feel free to dump. I'm gonna. Let's I'm do gonna, it. Yeah, okay. What do go. we have here? That's oregano. Okay. Oh, I love oregano. Um, Speaking of my Italian heart. Um, well, you're gonna want this just to kind of all cook down. Okay. Is basically how it's gonna work. Um, and then you will add some. Chicken broth, of course. Wowza. Um, to be able to kind of just marry it all together. So, Jeff, we've been uh, talking a lot of meat today. There's we been have. a giant brisket right here a little bit ago. However, the restaurant is not just for carnivores. Tell me it's about not. this, I don't know, jackfruit sandwich that's so popular. So, the jackfruit <laughs> sandwich is actually very popular. We have a gentleman, uh, he's actually the one that did my sign in Afton. Um, he actually, um, uh, has, him and his wife are vegetarians, and he brought the jackfruit to me. And it took us about two and a half months to be able to put it all together. And uh, so we actually, jackfruit is an actual fruit. Mm -hmm. It's it's actually all cooked. All I, It comes to me very expensively in a bag. Yes. Um, <laughs> I take it out. We put it on the smoker in a pan. We season it. We smoke it so it gets, picks wow. up that nice smoke flavor. Uh, and then we sauce it to serve. And it actually comes out to be roughly the same consistency oh. as a pulled pork sandwich. Is That's basically incredible. what it will come out to be. You could probably so, trick somebody. It, it, Here, well, have this pulled pork taco. I, I, Yes, you're exactly right. <laughs> Absolutely, we can for sure. So um, just a little bit of rice. We, we, have we brought some extra rice. So basically, what what's going to happen is, and I don't know if you can get an overhead shot of this, but oh, this okay. is what the jambalaya is going to look like from the wet perspective uh, once it's all put together. Yeah, it's a little bit yummy. This is incredible. And then you're going to literally just take your rice, if you want to pick that up and just kind of <laughs> dump it. We're not going to dump just it all in, but we're going to dump some rice in. All yeah, right. here Might we go. Might need some guidance. Right, well, it's a two-person we job. Well, it is a two-person job. Least. So we're going to put some rice in. Here we go. And then I'm going to stir that. Go ahead and oh my keep gosh. that. And we're going to stir it and see. Vat of rice. <laughs> it is a vat of rice. We want to make sure that everybody gets fed. Now, I brought the I brought the heavy stuff here. Uh, the the rice gets very heavy in the wet mixture when you start stirring. So I can imagine. Um, we uh, like to work smarter, not harder. And uh, we, uh, we uh, use a little spatula here to be able to stir it all in. The key when you're marrying the rice that's already cooked, because it's not going to have to soak up a lot of moisture in right. here, uh, but you want to let it sit and simmer for just a little bit so that oh, it can okay. soak up that flavor. Gotcha. Uh, but it is literally going to be ready to eat once wow. we get the right consistency of the rice. 
and the, uh, the wet mixture together. So you really worked hard, you carefully tailored this recipe alongside your mentor, it sounds I, like. I, you know what, uh, Kernis came up and we spent uh, a lot of time, we'll just add just a little bit more rice. A little you bit dump more, that here we go. Yeah, there you Getting go. Did you, get your way, did you get your workout in today? <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, Kernis, that, that's perfect, thank you. Uh, Kernis actually came up uh, last January, uh, almost a year ago now, and uh, spent some time with us in the kitchen at, at Kuna, which is who our food uh, uh, service provider is, uh, and helped us develop all these uh, all these recipes. So tell me this, Jeff, what came first, the restaurant or the food truck? Well, um, the restaurant for sure. The restaurant has been around uh, since 1996. Okay. Um, but when my wife and I took over about four and a half years ago, the first thing we did, much to my wife's dismay, is bought a trailer. <laughs> And um, not to love um, about food on wheels. That's exactly right. And we would take that and go out to all the uh, uh, festivals and, oh, cool. um, and, and and serve barbecue at festivals. It's so um, smart. You know, you've got a built-in audience. It's like, go where the people are. Correct. Of course, people are going to want some good correct. food. And uh, so then that uh, that parlayed um, through COVID. It was actually a huge saver for us. Oh, I bet. Um, and then so that parlayed into, uh, hey, this went really well. We should turn this into a food truck. So we turned it into a food truck. And that is still operating today? It is still operating today. So it is booked five days a week. Really? Um, almost people, every like, single month. Can you book it for an event? <coughs> like you I'm can. having a party, yep. I'm having a block party, whatever. All you gotta do is awesome. email catering at supersmokers.com. And you do so much for the community, Jeff. Tell me a little bit about how you provided food for Mercy and what you're doing out in the community. Um, we, through COVID, uh, really helped take care of the first responders and the That's medical incredible. staff because we have a lot of friends that uh, are in the medical field and that are first responders. So we wanted to make sure, I'm gonna talk and cut brisket. Talk and cut because we're going to wind um, down the show in a second. In and this. Um, Magica TV, I brought a uh, cooked brisket so that we can. I did not cook this in the oven, I swear. <laughs> we brought it from the restaurant. It cooked overnight last night. Um, oh my God. We have a lot of friends in the in the industry that we want to make sure gets taken care of. So we, we uh, cooked barbecue uh, pork steaks and we served oh, roughly 300 to 500 people a day. A day. Um, yeah, out of the restaurant oh, for, that's incredible. gosh, I don't know, probably five months. That's got to make you feel really good as it, it did. a business owner, you know, you're giving it back. It's not just about how do you get people in your restaurant, how do you give back and correct. everything else will come back to you. That I is believe correct. That. Um, so when cutting a brisket, you want to make sure that you cut the brisket against the grain. Now for the Magic right TV, the I'm going to show you, we can actually cut the the fat back and you can actually see Look at, the, is that the grain. It is marbling, yep, okay. yep. Well, so you can see the grain going this way. Yeah, so sure. you want to cut against the grain when you're cutting the brisket. Oh my gosh. And... Sorry, I'm all up No, in your you're totally <laughs> fine. So <laughs> what we're going to do, so are you a fatty person on the brisket or not fatty person on the brisket? Kind of somewhere in the middle. Somewhere I like the, the flavor, okay. but I don't there you go. Well, like too much Here's marble. what we're going to do. Not to be high maintenance with we're, my no, brisket. No, you're totally <laughs> fine. I'm going to give you a couple oh my of gosh. pieces of brisket that you can we're start gonna pair it with the jambalaya. and then we're going to pull so, the jambalaya over for our Tell know. me this. Say it is the end of a very long day and you are starving. Mm -hmm. What is your go-to menu item? Brisket tacos. Brisket tacos? Uh, oh, gosh. So we, mm. we eat three five-inch tortilla shells. Um, uh, brisket, our housemates are not housemates, our slaw. Uh, I make a housemate slaw at home that I, yeah, that I really like. Uh, that your family and, appreciates. Uh, that our that. family appreciates, yes. And uh, we actually oh. will uh, uh, use that for our, uh, for my tacos. I love our, our, our tacos. They're just. That's incredible. For I wouldn't think for some reason going to a barbecue spot, it's like tacos. But yep. if you say tacos, then the head pit master. You know, the, the other tacos. thing you wouldn't think of either is uh, burgers. Uh, we smoke our burgers. Uh, and then we finish them on a grill. Awesome. Uh, we have several different options, and uh, uh, during uh, Riverfront Times Burger Week, we actually finished uh, second in the best burger in St. Louis. Look at so, you. I'd high five uh, you, but you got a lot going elbows. on right it's there. Just like elbows. Regular COVID. So, yeah, there That's you go. There you go. Awesome. Well, Jeff, we are winding down this episode. People can check out. There's two locations: one in Eureka, and one on Gravoy. All the good stuff is going down on their social media as well. You can keep up with the food truck. You can see the specials. Their menu is ever changing. Am I correct? It is ever changing. Yep. We always yep. have specials and test kitchen items going all the time. Follow us on super, uh, at supersmokers.com on all social media to find out what we're doing. I can't look at you right now because I'm cutting and I don't want to cut well, my digits off. I just really want a bite of this brisket and jambalaya. Yeah, there's, um, a, there's a fork right next to you. It smells so good. Okay, here we in. go. Here we go. 
the sausage in here, the beautiful scallions, give it some flavor. Meat, okay, here we go, ready? I'm ready. Let's party. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit of heat. Oh my goodness gracious. A little bit of brisket. Let's get a little brisket. This is an absolute perfect pairing, I'd say. Here we go. Mmm. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. this Keep is, talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is outrageous. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I see why you were so busy all the time. Why your food truck is a huge hit. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't eat all of this by myself, but I won't. Um, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us on In the Kitchen here on STL TV. Make sure you follow Jeff and Super Smokers. Check out all the good stuff they're doing in the restaurants, in the community. And while you're there, follow STL TV on everything. We've got all the good stuff from pictures, photos, behind the scenes, you name it. That's gonna do it for this delicious episode. Oh my gosh, you've gotta get down to Super Smokers stat. Jeff, thank you so much for being my guest. You're very welcome. Thanks for having us. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.